All right, to Lockport now, where farmers in Niagara County are looking for a seat at the political table when it comes to decisions impacting their livelihoods. In fact, they staged a rally ahead of tonight's meeting of the county legislature. The farmers are pushing for the creation of a county agricultural rights advisory panel. They say agriculture is one of the largest market sectors in Niagara County, producing almost $20 million in products sold annually. Our Sydney Urie went has more on how this would give those farmers a bigger voice. Support local farmers. No farmers, no food. These all signs farmers and supporters held on to firmly as cold winds blew outside of the Niagara County Courthouse Tuesday evening. Farmers should not have to fight this alone because it is your food supply that is ultimately at stake. Agricultural rights advocate Ed Pettit says this farming community is waiting to find out if a resolution which would allow farming citizens the ability to suggest agricultural solutions and local laws to the legislature will be approved. We're concerned that we're going to have laws imposed on us that we just can't deal with. And even though farmers are only one and a half percent of the population, uh, so we're easy to pick on because we don't have the voting power. Pettit says 100% of the population remains dependent on agriculture, but farmers find themselves politically disadvantaged. In New York State, agricultural policy is now dictated without your input by fewer people knowing less about agriculture and with more political power than any time before. This is why Pettit says they'd like for the Agricultural Rights Advisory Panel to be made up of six people and be co-chaired by a county legislator. Chairman Rebecca Wittish, who spoke at the rally, says she's anticipating full support from the legislature. There has never been a greater time than now to show our collective voices to Albany, to come together, to let them know what it is that we need here in Niagara County. And shortly after the rally, inside the courthouse, voting began. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? That carries. And with each member of the legislature in favor of the resolution, both Wittish and Pettit say they're looking forward to getting started. It's going to give the farmers in our community a voice. In Lockport, I'm Sydney Yor, 7 News.